So open source means that the source files are open. That's basically it. You know, for a lot of people, they work on projects at night or on the weekends, and then they share it. And they do that either, you know, we have a site called Thingiverse where people share things, so they send an email to the folks over at Makezine and they share it, and they want other people to be able to build on what they've done and contribute back to the project. And sometimes projects become businesses, and that opens up a whole nother can of worms. I see open source being very valuable as a business principle. So a lot of folks talk about being able to collaborate and build on the shoulders of others, and that's very good, but it also makes a business focus and innovate a lot faster rather than a closed source business. So to me, open source, I use it to accelerate my business and have a better business because of it. For the last almost four years, we've been running MakerBot as all out open. And one of the downsides has been that We've had a bunch of people who don't respect the unspoken and spoken rules of open source. We've had people, we've had, you know, companies literally carbon copy clone us, including the trademark, and sell it. And that's just not cool. So we've had to change it up a little bit. And I um, actually wrote about this a lot on the MakerBot blog if people want to check it out. But the basic idea is we're going to be as open as we can. The MakerBot thing is really interesting. It's um, one of our first cases where we've had a a business that has made its model open source hardware get so big that um, they need to break away from marketing to the open source hardware community. That they've realized that they need to make their market um, the broader America or the broader world. If you want, like for, for hackers and for makers, we still have the, the replicator, the original replicator for sale, and it's got a wooden case, and you can drill into that and do all sorts of stuff you want to it. But in shifting to a structurally sound, powder-coated steel, like rock-solid chassis, that we got a lot of benefit from that in the machine. That, and we decided that that little part is something that we're we're not going to share the the design files for. Interestingly enough, hardware, as a notion, unless you have a patent, is is by nature open. So somebody could get it and look at it with calipers and you know a lot of people will say like well you're gonna get cloned anyway and they might be true they might be right but that doesn't mean we have to like it. It's been an interesting couple of weeks I think that the open hardware community has kind of had this opportunity to look ourselves in the mirror and kind of wonder what this is really becoming because I, I think that more and more of these projects are finding themselves in this position where they have to scale up and become actual businesses. And Chris opened it up and I think he really summed it up perfectly is that this is a really complicated question and that nobody really knows how this is going to shake out and we're all kind of figuring it out. And it's really important that we kind of stick together and continue to help each other out because what got us here is the fact that we've helped each other with designs, you know, how to start a business, how to get these things going. And I think we need to continue that um, kind of model of sharing uh, as we all kind of grow into these small businesses and maybe even big, biz big businesses. You know, we're trying to become a, we're, we're, we're a company that's growing. We're expanding out of the, the maker market into the, into the greater prosumer market. And for us, we don't want to leave behind our, our community. So we're going to continue to share as much as possible. Mm -hmm. But we have to do it in a way that is balanced. So we can, you know, because we have 150 employees with mouths to feed and families to feed. and we have to think about how we do it in a way that it works for us. It's, I, I really enjoy seeing what's happening with MakerBot because it kind of flexes the, the muscles of the open source movement to see how they're going to deal with different outcomes. Um, I, I completely respect MakerBot and what they have to do. Uh, however, I still believe that open source will make companies better rather than closed source. I think there are ways for companies to grow and remain open source. but. Um, I'm not sure that we know what those ways are yet.